Y'all, drama alert. Corey neglects Carmen during postpartum depression. Andrew reads Natalie. Messy Monday. That's what we about to get into. You dig what I'm saying? I need a snack. My air still look like it's about to pop. What can I say? I'm going through it. Let's get into it. Sad. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nikki G, the host. And today, I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? What the goddamn hell you leave? I already read the title. Let's get into it. It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. I'm a sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P., you can't sit with me. Come on, girls, let's get it. Hey creeps and welcome back to Missy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP and that is pretty on purpose. Black How you doing? All right, you guys, we have done it again. We made it through another trying week. Give yourselves a round of applause. I am so I proud of you. Right You're right here. Now. Some people didn't make it. Others wish they were still here. All right. Anyway, um, I want to give a shout out to my friend, and that is Adriana. Hey, bitch. Adriana, today I randomly picked you because I saw your message, and I just want to say thank you so much for being a Zone Navy supporter. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having my post notifications on. So since you're always supporting me, it is now my time to show you my appreciation by supporting you. I love you so much, and you're gonna always be my friend. Bitch. All right, y'all. Look, I got me some of it today. Y'all see her? She bubbling, girl. Here is to go grab your shit and catch up with me. How is it? All right, because it is now time to get in your favorite part of the show, and that is the shit. I might as well get a drink too, cause these fucking antibiotics ain't working. I'm really, really sad. Should I get a drink, y'all? The sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying. It's some shit. First of the shit, honey, I see we have Andrew Codwell versus Natalie Nunn. Now, we already know that Mother Codwell is gonna give us what's supposed to have the game, okay? Mother. So, <laughs> recently, Natalie Nunn has partnered up with Zeus, and Zeus came out with a show called The Bad Boys Club. Child hey. Andrew was supposed to have been on it. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. Here go his clip. And then pay y'all rent. Girl, you gonna be in your ass mopped. I'm not gonna lie to you. You think so? I promise you. You think you got right? I'm gonna travel over there and throw you out the back. I'm gonna drag your big ass bitch in your car. They wanna show, baby. You wanna show, but you can't get it over here. They want to steal the show, but it ain't gonna happen. Talking about they the king and queen. But how the hell you, how the heck you the king and the queen when you broke? And you the lowest pay that's out here? Make it make sense. It's y'all, this they only last gig, honey. I'm tired of those low budget people coming for me. And then they got the trailer park trash. So allegedly some things went down behind the scenes that we did not get to see. And you decided that is not what he wanted to partake in, what he, what he didn't want to be a part of. So said she had to grab her pearls and go. <laughs> so chat. <laughs> <laughs> So child, she clutched her purse and put on her kitten heels and she tipped it on the body. In the midst of doing all of that, she took to her Instagram, she went live and <laughs> talking shit and everything else. Now she ended up on Regine's show, which is on Social Society, the Black Network. <laughs> and as you had a few things to get off her chest. Uh, the boys to, um, to church. Number one, I don't play with God. Right. Okay. Number two, um, how we gonna put our difference to the side because we have no beef. But the only thing I can do for her is get her face repaired. Oh. Repaired is such a harsh word to you. <laughs> get her face repaired and then re resonate. <laughs> resonate that. Oh. Is get her face <laughs> repaired. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Hey, I'm gonna 
like what she's about to say. You got the best doctor to do face. Because, you know, on the side of the face, it's like really crumpled up, chopped up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Resume, like, girl, I ain't got nothing to do with it. <laughs> it's crumpled up, Resume. Oh. Crumpled up, chopped up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> why, why didn't they show her face? <laughs> keep it going. Keep it going. And uh, makeup won't do it. Matt won't do it. Oh, well, damn. <laughs> makeup won't do it. Matt won't do it. Maybe we should try Fenty because he didn't put her in there. And then she said... <laughs> Well, well damn. damn. And uh, makeup won't do it. Matt won't do it. Oh, well, damn. <laughs> Girl, she ain't want nothing to do with it. I am, I am weak. Do you hear me? And you read her so effortlessly, but Andrew, that ain't got it like that ain't holy. You should be doing that. You a god fear woman. And then on top of that, I just can't get past the engagement ring that he be wearing all the time. I be like, so who is you married to? I guess. I guess she's dedicated to Jesus. I don't know. Give it to him. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, somebody trunk. Find Louie and Ouie. Ouie, not Louie, but Ouie. Mm. And Chanel. Not mm. Chanel. Uh, 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 Ouie and Chanel. <laughs> he hell. Oh, my. I'm choking. The girls is gifting the girls. Chanel. <laughs> I mean, she sounds classy. I might, I might want me a little bag of her. Let's shut it out. Where did she come from? <laughs> so let her know when she be able to wear real designers, we can sit at this couch. Her designers are fake. It's the designers. And she's fake me. as her skin can be. And y'all, that's not the first time that social media has heard people make them allegations about Natalie Dunn. You had Sarah and a few others, you know, say that she gives the girls in the Bad Girls Club fake gifts and just friends or whatever the case may be. Woo -woo -woo. I don't know, child, she ain't give me nothing, I don't care. So anyway, we already knew Natalie was gonna come out and say something. So Natalie really didn't say much. She just made a little caption, ha 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 ha. And then she posted up this picture right here of a Christmas tree that was this past Christmas, I believe. And it had all these booby bags in front of it. Now, I don't know what's in the bags. The bags could be empty. And on top of that, you know that they be giving out them fake bags and boxes when you order fake stuff too. And then people wow. like, well, no, the page posted. I, 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 I. I know you fucking laugh. When you look at that page, that is a fan page. That's not Louis itself. So why is you happy that a fan page is posting you on their page with the Louis bags? Now, if the real Louis page did it, you know what? Wow. <sighs> it ain't none of my business. So, I that, that. wow. So Andrew caught wind of what she had posted and he replied back with, girl, stop buying all that fake stuff and get your face repaired. <laughs> And that picture right there is going to forever be iconic. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lord have mercy, Jesus. Pray for him. Well, all right. Anyway, I hope they can come to some type of agreement. If it ain't about me, Natalie, stop giving out that ooey <laughs> next day. Next on the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Iggy Azalea versus Playboy Cardi. All right, y'all, so Playboy Cardi had went on to a podcast or an interview, whatever, child, and was talking real fucking reckless. Should have kept his mouth shut. So anyway, child, he went on an interview and they asked him about how do you like being a dad and how is it for you? He gonna reply with, I'm a father, you know what I'm saying? And I think he tried to shade them because they asked him about being a dad. And if you know about black folks, we say it's a difference between being a daddy and a father. Everybody can be a daddy, but everybody can't be no father. So he said he has to provide for a lot of people. He takes care of a lot of people. He has a lot of responsibilities and he pays for a lot of people. And in that midst of a lot of people, honey, he mentioned his kids and then he said, my baby mother. Now, I'm over here thinking like, I know he fucking lied because I could have sworn 
that Iggy got a lot of M's off of Fancy. Not only that, Iggy has been an independent artist since 2019 and she's been touring. So child, she got her own coin. She don't need your coin. What is she talking about? You're supposed to be doing those type of things for her and that baby. Not saying taking care of her, but if you give a little change here and there, that's the mother of your child. You will want the mother of your child to be living comfortably if your child is living with the mother. Anyway, so Iggy, one thing she gonna do is she gonna clear something up and she gonna always make time. Iggy said, take care of me. <laughs> Let's not get carried away now. So a fan decided to put their two cents in when we're only accepting cards. And they said, oh my God, he said all those nice things about you and this is what stuck out for you. Bitch, first of all, I know your place to run your race. Speak when spoken to, ho, okay? He okay. responded back with, you've been misled. I don't fuck with this man and we're not even on good terms. With claiming that you pay my bills, I pay my bills. And then saying good things about me on an interview sounds great. Yeah, it does. But when you talk to me like shit in person is a whole nother story. And a lot of people do that. They are put on for the camera because they know that's what you need to do. This is what your PR says. It makes you look great. Oh, he's a wonderful father. But then when them camera them lights cut off, that's when these people are who they really are behind the scenes. And y'all gotta know that these people have to live up to a certain standard for the world, for the money, for the bag. So sometimes just shut the fuck up <laughs> when you don't fucking know. Okay. Period. She then goes on and says his team has that's been calling me because they knew that that's I That's what people have a problem with doing. Shutting the fuck up. Yeah, about what he had to say. They wanted me to be silent. Woo, woo, woo. And she said, look, hey, I appreciate that he called me a great mother. I'm not going to overlook that. But when it's not. We got to call her a great mother because she the one taking care of the goddamn baby. I reflect it in real life. I just rather much be left out of your interview. And you can't do nothing but respect that woman for saying that. Don't use me and saying that you're helping me and you're doing this for me to make yourself look good. Just say, I take care of my child when need be and it is what it is. Leave it like that, period. And so she said, hopefully now that she said what she had to say that she will be left out of all these interviews and she said, everybody will be great, period. We all win. Then she goes and she likes a couple of comments that people said, boop, 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 yada, yada, yada. What y'all men gonna stop doing is playing with these women and playing on their time. Y'all want them to respect you, but you can't give them the type of respect that they ask for. And women, vice versa, it goes for you. If y'all want respect, give respect, and it is what it is. And stop making these babies with these people that you know you're not gonna be with forever, and y'all already okay. having problems before the baby even did. Yeah. Now you bring that baby into some toxic shit. Anyway, all right, well, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Okay. Next with Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Yaya. Now we've all been waiting on the verdict of what was gonna happen to Yaya after stabbing NBA young boy's alleged girlfriend that he was talking to on the side. Baby, they done came out with this right here. Yaya pleads guilty for aggravated assault with a dead Six weapon. Six years of probation? And she's gonna have to do six years of probation. God, now you know the fuck what? <laughs> Money child. It's a thing to be rich in these suites. Now, I heard somebody say that they are all from Texas as well, and they did the same exact thing, and they got probation. If this is your first offense, you know what I'm saying? So maybe this is the law or rule they have out there, your first offense, whatever it has to be. But I feel like if it would have been any random person in the streets, they would have been serving some time because you could have killed this girl. What if you would have hit a major artery or this girl would have died? That's like attempted murder. I ain't gonna say it's premeditated, but in the midst of it, you decided to go pick up a knife, charge at this woman, and then slice the dice her like she was a piece of onion. I don't know. Let me shut up. I ain't gonna, shut I ain't gonna lie. That would have pissed me off. Fucking six months of probation, but I mean, six years. That's a long ass time. I don't know how the victim feel. Do y'all think that they gave the victim some quiet money? Like, look, this is what you gonna get. Shut up. We gonna pay the court people this, y'all shut up, and this should've just be left alone. Because the girl show is quiet. I ain't heard nothing from her no more. You know what, let me just get out of their business. Well, if it ain't about me, y'all, y'all is free. Next cake. Next to Sugar Honey Ice Tea is Kitty Rock versus Will Smith. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I am tired of this shit. It's, it's just, I'm tired of it. Like, can we just move the fuck on? Period. He then came out and said that he wants to fight Will Smith in a celebrity death match or boxing match, oh, whatever right. bullshit is. But I'm over here thinking like, well, first of all, nigga, don't both y'all gotta be a celebrity. So if that's the case, we missing one. Because <laughs> who are you, sir? <laughs> Hello? You know what I'm saying? Like, 
If you want to clap, just say it. said, don't like, got to be too much. Only, the only rock we know is Chris Rock and Tony Rock. Where did Billy, Nick, Mike, and, and Ricky Rock come from? Like, at this point, it's just rocks is coming from under rocks. Sit down somewhere. Like I said in the last thing, nigga, where were y'all at when your brother got snapped on stage? Right. I would have been running up there with my brother. Did you not have a ticket to get to the Oscars? That. No. So shut up, bitch. Damn. <laughs> and then here go, uh, what's his name? Ray J. Talking about he'll give him 50 million each or something like that. I ain't, don't quote me. If they both fight, but he said it has to be Chris Rock and Will Smith. Y'all over here condoning all this violence, but when violence was used on that Oscar stage, violence was so wrong. Which one is it, bitch? If do you want violence or not violence? Yeah. Now that y'all- I don't know why they think these multi-million dollar men are actually gonna get in the ring and fucking fight. Now it's a possibility. We can't like you know step away from the possibility, but. I just I can raise money for the violence that you want it. Oh, y'all making black people look bad because you slapped them on stage in front of all them white people. Then you want to sit here and put the two black men in the ring and tell them to fight each other. You. <laughs> you out here worried about making money off your powerful black men. Nigga, we already know what you about, Ray J. You over there having meetings with Trump. And then didn't they say you allegedly got two pockets? Mm. What? 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 We already know what you about, Ray J. You over there having meetings with Trump. And then didn't they say you allegedly got two pockets? Mm. What? What? I just hope they get this under How control. How did he get Ray that? Ray J came in and said what he had to say, and it is what it is. And who told me that they uh, got... You know? It was it. Allegedly, P.D. You know? Well, if it ain't about me. What? Let's keep it. Okay. All right, that's all I have for the sugar honey ice. Like, why you just say some shit like that and just act like you didn't say that? T, let's get into this mess. First on the ducket, we have Benzino versus Corey. Mel, this father and daughter this man has down. been going on for a minute now. Now, I don't understand their relationship. It's crazy to me, but it's not for me or you to understand. They friends one minute, they not friends the next. They love each other one minute, they don't love each other. At this point, I'm just like, well, can y'all just do this off the internet? Just do it off the internet because at this point, it's just stressing us out. But then you don't want us in your business, but then you put us in your business. Right. Anyway, so... As you know, Corey Ray came out with her new album called Trendsetters, and it said that Trendsetters made, what, 11K in the first week or whatever the case may be. So it was said that this Instagram was her dad's, and he had reposted a post from Academics, and he put laughing emojis on the numbers that she had got from her Trendsetters album. Oh, man, it sent a bunch of celebrities into a uproar. You had The Game, you had Tank, you had Tory Lanez, as you can see right here, saying, this is your daughter, how is this funny? You know what I'm saying? But Benzino came out and he shut down all the allegations and rumors about this being his page. He said, my page has been gone for a long time. Somebody took my page a long time ago. Woo, 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 yada, yada, yada. He said, I am proud of my daughter. Woo, 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 woo. He closed it off with um, anybody that tried to defame my name. We will be coming for you with my lawyer. It's going to be hammered down on all that. Y'all are the Tasha Case. I need you to throw a little shy academics. So I'm just like, chill. I don't know. So a couple days later, that's when... Uh, Koi comes out and she said, God has been the best father to me. Giving a little shade to her daddy. So that's making me think like, so was that really his Instagram or was he trying to save face? Because you know what? All this tit for tat shit just be stressing me out. I Child, I wish he mind his business when it come to her and I wish she mind hers when it come to him. I promise you, I'm gonna be bald worrying about what these folks, well, I don't be worried about it, but reporting on what these folks be going through because when I have to report on it, y'all put me in it and I don't even really wanna feel it. Okay. So she kept giving herself some congratulations about all of that, whatever case it be, as you, you should. You, if you don't uplift yeah. yourself, who will? If you don't believe in yourself, who will? And while her daddy is sitting over here worried about what the fuck going on and about her numbers and all that other stuff, he needs to be worried about why he over here in a little swoop by scandal with Shona Brooks, who's a transgender woman. Now, child, he out here saying they only work on the scene. They never had a one-on-one -on -one contact. Only time they talked to each other was when they was working. Woo -woo -woo -woo, yada, yada. They never had a one-on-one -on -one contact.
contact. Only time they talked to each other was when they was working. Woo, 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 yada, yada, yada. She real cool. He ain't got nothing wrong with the LGBTQ community. Child, in the midst of all that confusion and all that explaining, you explaining a little bit too much for me. And then Shona, when she came out, she sounded very confident when she was saying that, um, you know, child, you've already been out of before and she ain't out you. She was just putting on to what's already been out there. I think all these niggas is gay. I ain't got to do it because I don't know if it's true or not, but child. All of them. If you in the gay scene, he do give you that, you know, he do give you that top vibe who do like to met Girl, let me hush. I ain't got any more. Anyway, when we thought it was all over with, here he come with a diss track or a tape, whatever the fuck this is. I listen. So here we go. First episode is Zeno versus the Call You know your daddy. Love you, love you, love you. In the the sucker, sucker, go to trip and blame a mother, mother, mother. See no straight out of undercover love. Sources round, I was rich with a butler. Loving hip hop, the tropic crap plus. When I you know what, tournament? <laughs> Give your daughter her time. Give yeah, he gotta let it go, bro. Give your daughter her time. Because yours has come and gone. Just support her. Be a supporting father. But now you wanna put her in a song with all this other foolishness. Just. He gotta let it go. I'm so sorry, girl. I can't imagine what it feels like to have a parent that envies you, that is like your nemesis, your competition. Child, keep and then working. that your daddy. Keep striving, stay positive, and just stay focused because your daddy is doing a whole lot, a whole lot, of, and I know it's to you up the wall. Anyway, if it ain't about me, then let's keep getting this cake. Next one, okay? We have. Six nine. Now, six nine has been quiet for some time now. Ain't nobody heard nothing from him. I don't know where he been. I don't know what sis been doing. Hopefully, mm -hmm. sis been working. Yes. Well, the blogs had allegedly said that he was going broke, so I don't know if he was trying to fix that shit over there. Anyway, he then came out with this video with all this money, talking about how he just so rich and he this and that and ch look. The King of New York is back tomorrow, April fifteenth. Listen, you know I don't address nothing. I'm never gonna address nothing. Y'all believe what y'all wanna believe. That's a half a ticket right there. I'm really the type, I'm really the type that could take two years off. Cause this is really my lifestyle. I do not cap, this is really my lifestyle. This is how I really live. You see when you go home after rap. I'm not gonna lie. If he was broke, cause fuck that money. If he was broke, he could have sold all that shit and he still wouldn't be broke. <laughs> like he, you could be broke, right? It's a different, there's levels to this broke shit. But them chains, his jewelry is worth M's. All he had to do is sell it. So <laughs> he had never, not that he can't ever go broke, but. Uh. That's your life, this is really my life. I don't address nothing, you hear me? You got one house right here. Two houses right here. Oh, man. Three houses right here. Four houses right here. Five houses right here. He got five. Maybe two bitches. houses right there. You feel Ooh, me? Go look at somebody's net worth real quick. I really want you to go look at somebody's net worth. Net worth. Somebody who did a slide for their man. Go check their net worth. You hear me? This is really my lifestyle. I really got your... I, yo, bro, listen. I know this video is supposed to be a minute long, but we're going to stretch it. I really got your net worth in my trunk. Look at that. That's 50. 100. Keep it going. 150. 200. 1.3. Now listen, you get the trunk. I'm not even going all that. Get the trunk. Get the trunk. Look, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. This is really my lifestyle. I'm the, I'm the king of New York. I could really take two years off a rap. You hear me? I could do that. Y'all can't. Okay, girl, you do this every time you have you a song or a CD on the way. And But one thing you going to do, which I will give you credit for, is you're going to keep that lace front melted. And I give it to you, sis. Yes, slay. But anyway, Miss Takesha, she wanted to come out and start rambling and babbling about how she blackballed and all this other stuff. And she can't be compared to these other rappers because they got advantages on top of her, whatever the case may be. Girl, shut up. Why nobody thinking about you? Well, if you so blackballed, why you wanna keep coming out to the world if nobody love you? Just go to your fans and tell your fans I got the music. 
Period. But you want to come out with all these antics and they hate you and they don't like you instead of all this ruckus and just drama. And then you wonder why nobody fuck with you, sir. That's why you just messy, girl. You is so messy. And then child, she done sit there and um, showed up all that money. One point, what was it? One point three million dollars. Give me the link on that. The the TMZ said saying it's prop money. It. And I came back and said, Miss Sister got sued. <laughs> all she owed them was what seven hundred thousand. Girl over there flexing with the post money. Y'all go get y'all going. It's in her trunk. <laughs> that. Sh- Okay, Streamer company sues Takashi Six Nine for two million following failure to promote and perform two shows. Then Miss Sister got sued. <laughs> All she owed them was what seven hundred thousand. Girl over there flexing with the post money. Y'all go get y'all going. It's in her trunk <laughs> that she was saying all her money's in. It's in her trunk. Go get it out of her trunk. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. She got it in the trunk. Uh, it's up that one house, two house, three house. That's your other seven hundred k on her wrist. <laughs> Sus got it. Watch okay. Talk about she got on that court, but then a couple, a couple of months ago, she was saying she was broke. Girl, which one is it? Pick a struggle. Either you gonna be a rat or broke. <laughs> <laughs> Sus, kill me, child. She just do all a whole lot of nothing. Anyway, um, yeah. So I hope she get all that shit situated. <laughs> We don't want to hear about that too. The guy don't like ugly. You want to come out here and attack people, then show money and flex. Be humble, sis. That's all you gotta do. It's just be humble and work. You be the main one, just cackling. Okay. Anyway, much. y'all pray for. Her. <laughs> <laughs> if it ain't about me, they done took your 1.3 million bricks of money. <laughs> Next case. <laughs> Next on Duck we have Airbank versus. So Erica Banks went to an interview and she had some things that she wanted to get off her chest because she was asked a question and this is what she said. Well, you know, I love Nikki, but I just feel like I've been trying to reach out to her for a long time and I just feel like she kind of ignored me and I feel like she entertained the girls who really don't even know how to rap. You know what I'm saying? And my feelings hurt. So in the midst of her... I just feel like she shouldn't have never said that. If like blow a bag was a person, she is at the top of the list. If like, fuck up the money, sis, was a person, she is in the front. She is the cover. Are you dumb? <laughs> like, just because you've been hitting Nicki Minaj up and she ain't hit you back yet, don't mean she won't hit you back. Like, if I'm jealous as hell of everybody was a person, it would be you. That was just ugly. That was some ugly shit right now. Throwing that shade, saying that Nicki entertains the girls that don't know how to rap, which we know now that she she'll just never did do a uh, song, um, song with Corey Ray. Corey Ray then goes and she retweets that post and she puts smiling emojis up. Now, I'm all here for everything. I love her. You know what I'm saying? But, hush. I'm all here for Erica Banks and I love her and I'm all here for Asian Dog. But I think it be the social media and the- Don't speak for Asian. Asian actually did not say this. <laughs> the fans that causes all of this beef. So what happened was it was a blog or something that put up a picture saying these two girls couldn't keep faking their love for Nicki Minaj because she wouldn't give them a feature. And then that's when Asian came out. <laughs> Asian came out and she took flight. Hey yo. Please don't speak on me, my name, or nothing that I built. Y'all are randomly involving me with the next bitch situation. She sounded dumb as fuck. And I'm just like, damn, wait a minute, come on. Let them it. have what they got going on. If she beefing with Nikki, I got something she want to give our chest with Nikki. Let them have that, but the car girl, dumb as fuck. Maybe she really just hurt because she wanted to make a song of her. But you shouldn't be that hurt off of somebody who don't know you. That's why I be trying to tell y'all, we... <laughs> You don't know these people. That's why I had to stop reacting to Chris. Like, why you, why you hate Chris? Like, I don't know that man to hate him. If anything, I want better for him, dumbass. <laughs> How you gonna hate somebody you don't know? That's just crazy as hell to me. But I. Ain't. I made a new enemy calling this girl dumb as fuck. Keep that shit over there. I don't agree or respect nothing. She said them side by side picks ain't giving, and I was just like, well, damn. 
Thank you for the link. <laughs> you fucking lie. And mind you, I haven't heard Erica say anything. Erica ain't clap back after seeing that tweet. She ain't said nothing, but then Asian comes back again and she says, Erica played her step. None of the rap girls think like that. Only that one person sitting her ass in that seat on that stage. And I'm just like, are you trying to pick a fight with this girl? So y'all two can battle? Like, what is happening right now? Why are you attacking her? All she said was, and Nicki Minaj is doing songs with people that can't. She mad because she dragging her in this shit. Well, not she, but other people dragged her into it. She basically saying like, bitch, I ain't do nothing. Leave me out that shit. That was her dumb. Yeah, rap. Obviously, not she's not talking about you because you ain't done a song with Nicki Minaj. Same way she ain't done a song. So I don't understand why you really attacking this girl right now. You need to be attacking the people who put y'all pictures side by side. And if you don't agree, just say, hey, I don't agree with what she said. And it is what it is. And then y'all wonder why Nicki ain't doing no songs with neither one of y'all because y'all out here just being so messy. Ratchet. And I'm not talking about you, Erica. I'm just saying, like, you know, some people take stuff you say personal and they might either unfollow you or they might block you mm -hmm. let me tap my thing on that note a lot of the girls are sitting here saying asian doll that's still not gonna get you your feature <laughs> y'all so petty y'all is so petty I don't know, maybe she's just trying to show Nikki. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to Let do it. Go. Fuck it, I ain't got nothing to do it. Anyway, well, <laughs> it ain't about me. Y'all still ain't get that feature with Nikki. It's <laughs> okay. Next one, okay, we have Carmen and Corey. You, you my little play husband, I think you are fine as hell. People laughing, people think you fine, but I guess me and Carmen both stupid, child. But, okay, Corey, you wrong. That's a fact. You wrong for this. Carmen took to her internet and she was telling people how she felt lonely, how she felt by herself, and how she's always trying to be there for people, which she has. This man has cheated on her millions of times. She's decided to stay. She takes the bashing of all the people. She gets the embarrassment and yet she... And all that is her dumb ass fault. She still stays there and she supports Corey. And every time, Corey makes it seem like it's something she did. And for those who don't know, after a woman has a child, some women experience postpartum depression. And it's crazy. And so do men. Like, you start thinking you look bad. You think your husband don't like you. You start getting lonely. You get depressed. It's a lot that comes with it. And it's draining. And as him being her husband, her lover, the father of her children, he should sat there and said, baby, it's not you. I'm here. I'm, I'm with you. I understand. But as we've seen, Corey's been out partying. He's been here. He's been there. He's been just doing a lot. And I understand you have to have money to live. You have to have money to keep up the lifestyle that y'all live. I get that. But a couple of months ain't going to stop you and your wife from not paying bills. Oh, God. It's, it's not. And if your wife is telling you that she is feeling some type of way and that she is lonely and she's hurting and she needs somebody, she needs that love, be there for her. But for him to turn around and then say, oh, y'all know I'm a Gemini, I'm nonchalant. Yo, Zodi Axon ain't got shit to do with this. Yeah, we may be nonchalant people and this, that, but when it comes to people that you love, you as a person, a husband is supposed to take care of your wife. Yo, Corey's a child, and I don't even understand why we've been talking about him forever. He's a fucking child, okay? At the end of the day, I, this is where I got to be on the woman's ass. She has been letting him do this for how many years now? Y'all know she'll be right back with him tomorrow. Why should we even care? The same way she sat here and dealt with your bullshit, your cheating ass, your lying ass. This woman done held not one, but two of your children for you. I don't sit and be sad over people. I adapt to change. Corbin had mentioned that he allegedly said that she brings negativity into his life. She wouldn't be able to bring negativity into your life if you want to cheat 
on her all the time. That's where that negativity came from, from you cheating. So she had to always ask you, are you cheating? Are you doing this? Are you doing that? Are you doing this? You the one that always go live. We wouldn't know y'all business if you never went live. And now, right now, the girl is upset and she's hurting and probably going through PPD and you ain't even worried about it. Talking about, I just adapt to change and she don't want to be me, she don't want to be... That is selfish. Inconsiderate. Rude. Little boyish. I take care of my responsibilities and keep it moving. I will let his ass the fuck go and take him for everything that he has. I'm not, you not about to keep playing with me. But you know what? Carmen will never do it. She, she at the house right now. Taking care of them kids. Court probably out. Fucking somebody. Some, who knows? I don't know. What's she gonna do? I mean, like, for real. Nothing. <laughs> I gotta do nothing. Wow, well, if that's the case, gonna sir, be right now. you shouldn't have got me pregnant. If that's the case, sir, you should have left when you had time to leave a long time ago when you cheated on me one, two, three, four, five times. You could have just took care of your responsibilities and kept it fucking moving. You say you're a Gemini and you nonchalant. You can adapt, but when Carmen wanted to leave, why didn't you, why didn't you adapt? Why did you come back telling her, I'm sorry, I want to be with you, I'm going to get right, I understand. Man, that long ass fucking sit down, look at the camera fucking video like it was a goddamn interview, a documentary, and you turn around and did the same fucking shit. My heart is pure. I'm going to take care of my people, but what I'm not going to do is let somebody drain my energy. Nigga, you've been draining hers. The thing with Zoe is he really feels this, but it ain't about Corey's situation. I think he feels this about men in general for him, for himself. <laughs> That's what I be trying to tell you about men. Not all men, but a lot of men. When shit get done to them or when you start telling them about themselves, they get upset and now you draining my energy. But when they done drained yours in the last drop and okay. you got to dry as a fucking prune or a fucking bread and turn it into some wine, <laughs> bitch, you supposed to just understand Okay. Everybody has problems. All that fucking bullshit he said. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm ready to hit this camera, y'all. I'm trying so hard <laughs> to hit this camera because I want to hit something so bad because this man has said so much shit, but now when the tables have turned and she feeling some type of way, when he was in that hotel talking about, oh, I gotta get myself together, I'm gonna know, I'm gonna get When he was saying all that bullshit, you understand. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. And so Corbin came back and she said, look, I didn't try to come in here and paint you as a bad person. I just said I feel lonely. Like right now, she is in her feelings and he needs to understand this is when she needs you the most. And for you to be her husband, the father of her children is supposed to be there. But she's not understanding. You think she's just complaining. And she's not. Maybe you do need to stop taking all these shit. I know you're working. Tell them, hey, my wife just had a child. She's feeling some type of way right now. Fellas, I'll be with y'all. Your real friends gonna fucking understand. And then you, you, you know what, y'all, I'm making this into a personal situation. Corey came out, this is the fuck he had to say. Hey, y'all, somebody in there, this is why I don't be paying attention. I swear to God, this is the real, honest truth. The same bitch I be seeing in the comments, hey, I swear to God, be the same bitch that would have fucked me. So they need to relax. <laughs> Please relax, bro. I do not receive none of this energy in person when I'm out and everywhere I'm at. Like, please relax. Y'all hope be happy here when y'all see uh, people break up. Cause y'all think it's y'all turn, but it ain't. Fuck you. God. Yeah, you hear me? Like, nah, for real. Like, that's just real niggas. Relax. Hey, 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 Mike. I'm coming to Vegas next month, I think. No, I'm coming to Vegas in June. I gotta tap in. I need one of the hottest cars that you got. I said it on the shuffle phone. And I'm not just saying this because I think your man fine. I do like your man. But bitch, he needs somebody who toughen his fucking ass the fuck up and slap his ass around. You allow him to do what the fuck he want to do. It's time for you to put your foot down too. But Carmen, I done told you this and I'm going to say it again. You need to put your foot down. The whole girl, because Corey aggravating. <laughs> Nigga think he fine as wine. He really not. 
He looked like a little boy to me. Corey looked like a a a, a, a damn fifteen. A muskrat? He looked like a little fourteen year old little boy to me. So I would never take him serious. But um, well, I was gonna say, fuck, I forgot. Um, damn, I forgot. <laughs> I just this shit with Carmen. Oh, oh, because he said you letting him do what he want to do. At the end of the day, people are going to do what they want to do. And this is what I need to fucking write a book on this shit. Because people don't like to accept what the, the role that they play in it. You can't tell a person what to do. I am grown. You cannot tell me what to do. You can't. But if you don't like the way I'm moving then you can do what you want to do about that. But you can't, you cannot control people. It, even if you married to them, you, you can't control them. Like you can't say nigga stay in the house. Cause I'm depressed. That's just not how that's going to work. I would want you to, cause I just had your child. I'm going through it, nigga, but that don't mean he going to do it. So it's kind of like, that's what I have to, I always get on a women ass. Like, what are you doing sis? Okay, he ain't doing it, bet. You complaining about it, right? You don't want you don't want no parts in it, huh? You tired of it? Leave him. <laughs> Men run back faster than uh, running backs, track stars. She's a runner. He can be a runner and a track star. As soon as you decide to leave. As soon as a woman say, nigga, I'm out this bitch. I don't want to deal with you no more. I'm sick of you playing me like this. I'm sick of it. I bet. That's what he goes. I bet. He gonna be cool then. Get that motherfucking apartment or that condo or that townhouse or that house in your name. Get a date. Bitch, get keys. Move in a hotel for two days. Fuck that. Cause some of them getting a little, a little, uh, you know, a little better here. Go in a hotel for two for a month. If you gotta wait on your shit. Spend his money. You the one with the kids. Run me my money. I don't wanna cause you this distress. So pay for this hotel while I find me a place to stay. He gonna think you bullshit. He gonna send you the money because he got it. He ain't worried about that shit. I'll send him the money. And she ain't going nowhere. Man, for that shit. She just gonna go away for a little while. She ain't going nowhere. Get that motherfucking apartment or, or whatever in your name. And see how fast he get to running back to your ass. But instead of women doing that, you like, he just do what he want. I just want him to do what I want him to do. That's not how that works. She got a newborn. Cool. He don't give a fuck about the newborn anyway. She going to have to take the newborn to the... Women, y'all have to stop finding excuses in the midst of this shit. Stop. <laughs> She got a newborn and he not helping her now. So what's stopping her from moving? Hello, anybody. Listen, all them motherfucking excuses y'all come up with. Soon as I say something, it's like, but, uh, she got a newborn, but, uh, she got this. And, uh, why y'all got all them excuses? <laughs> I don't understand. Cause men don't. So that newborn can go to the hotel too. Exactly. Clean that motherfucker out. Make sure it's squeaky clean. At the end of the day, I'd rather her have a clear mind in a hotel, Airbnb, whatever you want, than to be at that house because I promise you she's not happy there at all. Sometimes women need to separate themselves and find themselves again. Individuality. You need to find it. At the end of the day, he ain't helping with this newborn. He's not helping anyway. So let me take my ass to a hotel. Take this newborn away anyway. Because you ain't even paying no attention to the baby. Don't worry about where the fuck I'm at. Don't worry about the fuck I'm doing. Do that shit and see what happens. All these excuses for these. It's, it's just the quickest way to stay. Well, I got a newborn. so I, And he don't care about the newborn anyway. Well, his kids is well, man. 
<laughs> like, I hate this shit. I fucking hate it. The day y'all teach these niggas lessons is the day you will be able to win. Until then, all these excuses and all this bullshit y'all like to, to let them win with, they're going to continue to win. It's crazy. I don't understand. The pussy is what hold the power. You the one who had that newborn. So you going to stop moving for your sanity for that baby that you carried for nine months and went through labor with for a nigga who ain't there? What? <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Or you need to really go. And no, when ma'am. I say go, no communication, no talking to him for a good six months, five months. So let him know, Corey, this is what you had. And I promise you, that nigga gonna be kissing your feet, girl. He'll be kissing your feet in 30 days. 30 fucking days days you let a nigga go out and do whatever he want he can fuck whatever woman he want he can go out to eat with all these women you know what i'm saying he can put in he can do whatever he want to do with these women women are the ones that make the home these thoughts out here ain't making no home they just ruining them so go out there and let him play around in this shit let him do you, boo-boo? That's when you're going to be finding your peace of mind, your sanity, your individuality. And I promise you, in 30 days, if not before, he going to be back. And that is when you can decide whether you're going to stand on what the fuck you worked on or you're going to let his ass back in. And Carmen don't need to let his ass back in. <laughs> I mean... But she just continues to do so. You continuing to let him tear you down. I mean, it's like, that's what you want, sis. So she can have it. Girl, but you don't do it. You always stay gone for a little week, two weeks. Girl, telling you. Y'all got to stop putting your foot down with these men. Because when these men, when they control you, they going to run over you. It's a difference Promise. between, you know having some type of manly control in a relationship, but a woman will submit to you and let you do that when you're giving her that love, that comfort, that reassurance, when you're letting her know that she's the only one, that she's your queen, then she will submit and let you run things and do this. But it's a balance. It's not I run you like you're my pet. It's I'm providing and I'm being a man and your king and you be my queen for our kingdom. Nigga, it's a big fucking difference. She ain't no servant. They like to act like it. That's the problem. <laughs> it ain't him. It's Y'all, we already know what men do. You are already fully aware of what these niggas do and what they're capable of. All right, let's start talking about us. <laughs> As in the women, please. Somebody address the women. What's wrong with you? We become weak. That's still not an excuse. I'm just letting you know that's what it is. We become weak. Yeah, well, weakness got to die one day. Because yeah, you can be weak all the fuck you want to in your in your process of being weak. You're going to be confused. You're going to start uh, self-hating yourself, self-destructing yourself. And all for a nigga who don't give a fuck about you anyway. That is crazy. So, yeah. Once again, all them excuses can 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 stay. Whatever it is y'all want to do, go at it. But uh, no, ma'am. Because uh -uh. you God can run knew. a servant and still have respect for them and love them, but you don't love them like you love your queen. That's a fact. Let me hush. If it ain't about me, Cormen, it's time for you to be F-R-E-E, -E, and that's free. Next K. Right. She can be free. She the only one that got to free herself. Because he letting her be free. He like fly chicken fly. Go over the hell you please, please, and get the hell away from me. I'll be the first thing smoking. And my thing with her is, cause you know, a lot of a lot of y'all like to use shit like, well, I don't have no money. Uh, he don't have. No. She got money. She's not broke. He's not helping her anyway. So, I don't. I don't. I don't get it. But anyway, I'm done with this video, man. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.